Hey guys, Cody Lucas coming to you now from our beautiful office in sunny South Florida here at Elite Medicare Advisors. We wanted to go over today why Medicare A and B are so important to keep, how a Medicare supplement or Medigap plan works with original Medicare A and B, and clear up a lot of confusion that is out there in regards to Medicare. So we have one of our senior agents here, Chris, best in the business. He's going to go ahead and take it away, give you guys a visual, and explain how a Medicare supplement works with original A and B. All right. So Chris, take it away. All right. Thanks, Cody. How you doing everyone at home? Uh, hello YouTube. My name is Chris Buckman. I'm one of the senior brokers here at Elite Medicare Advisors in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, that's what I look like, largely my own fault. Uh, so I was having a conversation with Cody, uh, my boss, the other day, and we decided Cody was having some problems with insomnia. Needs a little help uh, sleeping at night. So I said, well, I got an idea. Let's make a video about Medicare. It's definitely a cure for insomnia. I'm kidding. So what we wanted to do was to just kind of go over everything with you guys in regards to how Medicare works, because I've been doing this for a while now. And uh, one of the biggest concerns that I think a lot of clients have and what I have encountered is a lot of folks just don't understand Medicare because nobody's ever taken a few minutes to sit them down and just explain to them how simple and how it works and just how a Medicare supplement really is the best coverage in my experience for getting all your medical needs that could potentially happen to you as you get older and once you're in Medicare. Uh, so that they're covered properly. So we'll start with the simple stuff. So I'm sorry I was not an art major, but I think we'll be able to get the point across. So Medicare Part A, this is your hospitalization coverage. Now, you folks don't have to pay anything extra for Medicare Part A. You've already earned that coverage because you paid into the system. So whether it was your 10 working years or 40 quarters, you've already earned it. There's no additional premiums. It's simply a gimme when you turn 65. If you have the credits, they'll give you the coverage. So with Medicare Part A, if you end up in the hospital, Uncle Sam, who is who Medicare comes from, says that you have a deductible to meet for days one through 60 in the hospital. And that deductible is currently $1,408 for every hospital stay that you have with 60 days or more between hospital stays. You can be charged this deductible up to four times in a year if the, fall, if the timing falls just right. So that would equal the total of $5,632 in deductible fees, and that could be in one year, and that really just counts towards your room and board. So basically the room that you stay in, the bed that you sleep in, the meals that you eat, the TV you watch, that's really all that counts towards. Now, Medicare Part B, this is the one that's really important. This is going to be your medical coverage. So this is the one that you will have to pay for. Now with Medicare Part B, it does vary by your income, but uh, for most folks, it's typically $144.60 a month. Not terribly important, but something that I wanted to mention. Now for Medicare Part B, they don't automatically enroll you in that. So you would have to get in contact with Social Security and tell them that you want to start in such and such month, whether it's the month that you're going to be turning 65 or if you're going to continue to work for a while and you're going to delay it for a couple of months or a couple of years. But you typically want to do that about 90 to 120 days before the month you want to start. Bear in mind, you know, when you're dealing with Medicare and Social Security, you are dealing with a government bureaucracy. So there's a lot of paperwork, things take time. So they may need to send you some paperwork. They may need you to fill it out, send it back. All that takes time. So you want to have everything in place well before you're ready to actually start Medicare. So with that said, the Medicare Part B is what's going to cover you when you go to the doctor, your physician services, your outpatient care, your testing supplies, that all falls under Part B. Now with Part B, Uncle Sam says you have a deductible to meet there also. And that is currently $198 for the entire year. You typically get there in one or two doctor office visits. After that, Medicare is going to pay 80% of approved services. They expect you to foot the bill for the other 20%. So 20%, obviously, of any large number, it's still going to be a large number, especially for the average person. So the way that someone avoids these costs and still kind of keeps their health care coverage intact to cover pretty much everything is with what's called a Medicare supplement or a Medigap plan. You may have heard that term in the past. They're interchangeable. Medigap, Medicare, it's the same exact thing. So the plan that's recommended, that is the highest level of coverage, is Medicare or Medicare supplement or Medigap plan G, like George. 
So Medicare Supplement G, which is the recommended level of coverage, is going to cover 100% of everything beyond your $198 deductible that could medically be necessary. So no matter how many times you end up in the hospital, whether it's one time in a year or it's 100 times in a year, you do not have to pay the $1,408 deductible if you have Supplement G. So very simply, we're going to draw a line from G up to that 1408, and we're going to draw a line through it because you do not pay it. The plan pays it for you. The plan is also going to cover your 20%. So if we draw a line up to the 20%, we can cross that out also. So it doesn't matter if you're like most folks, you go to the doctor once or twice a year, you go once or twice a month, or you're just a plain old hypochondriac and you're there two or three times a week, you don't pay the 20%. The plan will pay it for you. So you're going to pay your premium, obviously. That's how insurance companies make their money primarily. So you need to have pay that to have your coverage. You're going to meet your deductible of 198, typically one to two doctor visits. And you're there. And beyond that, everything is covered. It's medically necessary. And the last thing we're going to do down here, we're just going to touch on very briefly something called Part D which is your drug coverage. We're not gonna really get into that too much in this video. I'm just gonna to touch on it a little bit to wrap things up here. The reason being, uh, in the next couple episodes, we're gonna do a full-fledged Part D episode where we really kind of dissect things for you and explain how Part D works and all the different coverages. Basically, suffice it to say, with Part D, you wanna start with a drug plan. Uh, my experience from when you start Medicare, unless you have what they call creditable coverage, which would be, let's say, through an employer, or the VA, something like that. Because if you don't start with Part D, even though the average cost is only about 15 bucks a month, what can happen is, even if you're not taking medicines now, at some point in the next not-so-distant future, you're probably going to get prescribed something. If you go to get a drug plan at that time, you're typically going to get charged a penalty. So we want to avoid that. We want to have some basic drug coverage in place. So you want to start with a drug plan from the time you start Medicare. Average cost is probably around $15 a month. And uh, that's it. All right. So... I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to our, uh, our humble YouTube channel here. Uh, if you felt this information was valuable, and I think it is very valuable, please like and subscribe. Share this video on any social media platforms that you're involved in. Send it to your friends, especially if they're on Medicare. And um, we'll see you in the next episode. Tune in uh, most likely next week, as they used to say, same bat channel.